Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 6, 2024, Albania's Minister of Defense, Niko Pelesher, made a significant announcement regarding the country's military capabilities. Albania has acquired Javelin anti-tank missiles from the renowned American defense contractor Lockheed Martin. While specific details regarding the number of missiles, cost, and delivery schedule remain undisclosed, this procurement marks a crucial step in Albania's ongoing efforts to modernize its military defenses. The Javelin missiles purchased by Albania are part of a larger production contract awarded to Lockheed Martin by the U.S. Army, totaling $309 million. This contract includes the provision of over 1,300 missiles, with funding allocated through the recent Ukraine Supplemental Appropriations Act. Apart from Albania, other international clients benefiting from this contract include Norway, Latvia, and Thailand, highlighting the global demand for advanced military technology. The Javelin anti-tank missile system is a highly sought-after weapon designed and manufactured in the United States. It is employed by numerous countries worldwide, including Australia, France, the United Kingdom, and of course, the United States itself. Weighing 11.8 kilograms and boasting a diameter of 126 millimeters, with a length of 1.08 meters, the Javelin is renowned for its precision and effectiveness in striking targets at distances ranging from 2,500 to 4,750 meters. Operating the Javelin system requires a two-person crew and is equipped with advanced accessories to enhance accuracy and reliability on the battlefield. Its passive target acquisition system and integrated day-slash-thermal site provide operators with optimal visibility and targeting capabilities, even in low-light or nighttime conditions. One of the key features of the Javelin is its tandem-shaped charge warhead, specifically engineered to penetrate the most robust armor defenses. Despite its formidable firepower, the associated firing post for launching the missile is relatively lightweight at 6.4 kilograms, ensuring a degree of portability essential for modern warfare scenarios. Minister Pelesher emphasized that the procurement of Javelin missiles was not in response to any concrete threat but rather part of Albania's commitment to maintaining robust national security as a member of NATO. He reiterated Albania's support for NATO's principles, including the alliance's open-door policy towards new members such as Finland and Sweden. Albania itself, alongside North Macedonia and Montenegro, has been a NATO member since 2009, contributing to the collective security of the alliance. However, amid Albania's supportive stance towards NATO expansion, Turkey has expressed opposition to the potential inclusion of Sweden and Finland into the alliance. This underscores the complex geopolitical dynamics at play within NATO, as member states navigate differing perspectives and interests. In conclusion, Albania's acquisition of Javelin anti-tank missiles represents a strategic investment in bolstering its military capabilities and further aligning itself with NATO's objectives. As regional security challenges evolve, Albania remains committed to maintaining a robust defense posture in collaboration with its NATO allies. That's all for now, see you later.